Jimmy Aiken said that the flesh found in dinosaur bones could easily be explained by the bones being vacuum sealed from its environment. First of all, what vacuum seal is he talking about? A vacuum seal means that there is no possible way oxygen could get to that. We know that there's oxygen down deep in the soil, number one. We know that things that have died decompose uh, based on oxygen. We see it all the time. Mary Schweitzer. Now, she didn't use this excuse. She's the one that found the T-Rex bone sticking out of the, uh, the cliff back in 2010. Her boss, Jack Horner, said, I want you to figure out a way how this bone could survive. And not only the bone, but the collagen that was found in it, the red blood cells, the, ves- the blood vessels that were all found in the dinosaur bone. And they found them when they broke apart the bone by mistake. She came up with a theory that there is some kind of formaldehyde substance in the soil that kept these uh, bones from deteriorating and the, and the organic tissue from deteriorating. And then they asked her, okay, can you give us a sample of this formaldehyde-like substance in the area where you were doing your excavation? And of course, you know, we stole and we make excuses and blah, and, and so we never got it. You know, because you're going to put forth a theory of why a 70 million year old bone and organic tissue doesn't deteriorate. You better have something that not only you can say works, but you show it to us. Now, we know when we put organic specimens, you can put them in a jar of formaldehyde. They will last for a long time. But whether they can last 70 million years, that's something nobody's ever tested. So not only does she have that lame excuse that it was a formaldehyde-like substance, she wasn't dumb enough to use the fact that, well, if it's deprived of oxygen, then it's not going to deteriorate because she knows that there's oxygen in the soil, no matter how minute it's going to be. As long as there is a source of oxygen in the soil, it's going to deteriorate. Jimmy can dream up all these things he wants to. Yeah, if you had a perfect vacuum, you may be able to make it last for 30,000 years. But then he's got to prove that it could last for 70 million years. He doesn't know that. So he's fishing. And this is the only thing that he can possibly think that might give us some extension of life other than the normal. See, Jimmy's another one that has been sucked in by the scientific establishment to think that, you know, we evolved from apes and molecules and all that stuff. I wouldn't listen to a word he says on the science.